I'm the medical caregiver. I think that his wife <clears throat> is understandably daunted by going to meetings, going to the MRIs. Um, she hasn't been looking at him for 20 years. She's not as used to, I mean, you know, if I get, met a man five years ago and had two babies and got, had this whirlwind romance and was married and then suddenly I'm in a doctor's office looking at the inside of his brain and where the scars are from two surgeries and, and what scar tissue and what could be necrosis. And, and then, um, you know, and then at the end, we were just talking about this last night. <laughs> I, somehow I said, I told Stanton, I was speaking to head for the cure and, um, we were, and he, and he was saying, I'm just so happy that you do this and that like that you're, that you're involved in this healthcare because it's so, there's so much to learn for me. And, and then Stan and I were laughing. They're like, yeah, you know, like you get a great clear scan and you're like, oh, maybe we should go to six months. And then Dr. Paylogo says, you know, we've never had anybody live this long with that much of the um, magnetic infusion. We didn't know if that could hurt you. Uh, so maybe we should go to six months because we don't have studies on that. And then, and then periodically she'll say, oh, and because of this particular, maybe we should test for leukemia. So like you get something good and it's never just good. It's never just great at MRI, see in four months. It's always like, Stan goes, Stan said, you know, someday she's just going to say great at MRI, goodbye. She's not going to, it just, because you do, what is it, What's, I can't think of, what, what, what is the, in, the magnetic injection in MRI? What not, what not, starts with G. Oh, that's another thing for people. That's another thing, people. Um, I found, anyway, the, there's always something just to finish that thought. You know, you think you're, so my, my job is to help Annie, his wife, um, understand and traverse how daunting going to an oncology department is, period, much less looking at, a, a, at brain scans and waiting every time to find out what's next. And, and, and I'm very fortunate that she wants me there. And there was one time that she couldn't be there and she was very happy that I could go and it would just stand in me. So um, I'm, I'm lucky, I'm, I'm honored that. And I think that's spilled over into our relationship in general, um, just because she, you know, she's on team Stanton and understands that um, time could be precious. And the last time with her last baby, her mother couldn't get here in time. And they had me in the delivery room until she pushed. Like they asked me to stay. I was so honored. What daughter-in-law would do that? It was so sweet of her to share that. And, and she knew how important that was to me. And they named her after me. It was just wonderful. So she's a really good person. She's very, um, very giving. That's a lot to share because her time, she doesn't know what her time is with him. And to let me be there, it's very impressive. Um.